man. Welcome to the big, big show, the biggest show in the game. We all by far the biggest. And, and you need to understand what I don't do. Play games. I don't do is play games. And so this is the biggest show in the land. No one bigger. No competition. Nobody's close. And so it's, it's, it's a lot of things. You got to understand, man. I've always looked at things from an inspirational point. Never from jealousy. And when you go hard, I always say to be a one-hit wonder, to be a one-hit wonder is better than to be a no-hit wonder. Because at least a one-hit wonder gets, thank you, Chef Melissa, gets to walk the red carpet, gets to meet the other artists, gets some money in their pocket. At least they did it. They accomplished their dream. Um, but to constantly deliver hit records, that's another thing. That's impossible. When I see other artists do it, I can't believe it. I retired. I really left it alone. I refused to go to the studio. Dre kept calling me. They looked depressed. Midi, 808, Ray, Dre, cool. They looked depressed every time they FaceTimed me. And I turned around. And Dre said, yo, man, I got this joint. I got this inspiration. We got to do it. Once I heard it, I said, I'm cutting it. Then I started working on more music. It sounds like the big, big show. Meaning like big boy OG shit. And uh and there you have it. Tonight we have a very special, 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 special guest. Joe my favorite. <laughs> Yo, Emma. What's up? Yo, my favorite. <laughs> Emma. You What's know, up, Joey? <laughs> you know you're my favorite, Emma, you know? You're my favorite too, Joey. Yeah. Yeah, Emma, let me tell you something, man. I don't think. Other than my immediate family, like Khaled, Nori, you know, like guys I hang out with every week, we've never had a, a guest on twice. Really? And um, yeah, yeah. And since you've been on, you was here the early days. You're looking extremely beautiful, Amber. Thank you. Like the shrink, right? You. <laughs> and so. I had to get you back on because because it's just I think you're forever. You got that forever glow. <laughs> Thank I think, you. Nah, Amber, I think you got you forever. You got that forever glow. Like your shit will never go out of style. Thank you. I really um, how you been? I'm good. The kids are good. Family's good. You know. Sebastian and Slash. Where the name Slash come from? So I named him Slash after um, Slash from Guns N' Roses, the lead guitarist of Guns N' Roses. <laughs> well, I know you, I know you white and black, right? But yeah. I don't take you for like a rock. No, I love girl. rock. I love rock music. Real shit. Like yes, you, you go I, crazy I to like rock, rock music. music. I do. I thought you were strictly hip hop. No, I love hip hop too. Like, don't get it fucked up. I love hip hop, but um, I love like real heavy shit. Like, I love like System and Pantera, Metallica growing up. Um, yeah, I guess that it's, is just my white side, but I do like. like yeah, yeah it is too. your white side. Yeah. And if you wasn't scared of COVID, that would have been your white side too. You know right. that, right? <laughs> No, I'm scared. My I'm man, scared. my man's wife is half black and half white. She wasn't scared of that COVID. He was like, yo, man, that's that white shit right there. Like, no, I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. So you protecting yourself. 
Oh yeah, I don't leave the house, Joe. Like I, I I'll go to the supermarket. You know, um, if I have any type of business, I'm masked up, wash my hands. You know, I have kids here, and I also what's up, Noriega? Shout, shout out to Nori. He Nori. pop up when he want to. My boy. He pop up when he want to. Um. He gave birth to this show, but get, keep going, Amber. So you try to stay home as much as possible. Yeah, I do. I do. Um. Yeah, and I haven't gotten COVID yet. I everyone I know pretty much has gotten it already. Um, That's because they didn't take it serious like us. Like I haven't got it. God bless. Yeah. And our families haven't got it, but we really. I, I go from my house to Khaled's, or my mother's house, and even when I go to my mother's house, I take the test before. We love okay. you, Nori. I I take the test before, so we try to be. We like really careful. No, we're really careful over here too. The problem is, Amber, that a really, 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 really smart person I know recently told me that with this new strain that's even more contagious, right? that he believes 90% of the people in the world, no matter what the fuck you try to do, no matter how you try to stay home, right. is right. going to catch the COVID. Right. Well, see, that wouldn't be a bad thing if um, we just got it and then had the antibodies forever and we never got it again because then it would be eradicated, right? So everyone in the world would have it and then it would just be abolished. But that's just not the case. I, I have a friend that had it twice this year. So, you know, it's like... Yo, but Amber, let me ask you something. Do you have like a, a hand cast or are you trying to flex on us with some fly shit? Oh, no, no. I, I really wasn't flexing, y'all, I swear. But that's just my sleep. Yeah, Amber, let me tell you something. The other day, um, I was talking to you, but you see, you know, you know, I've been into this fly shit a long time. <laughs> you are like, so funny. You know, I've been know doing this 25 years. Yo, Amber, I've been into this fly shit a long time. I blew too I many know. bags in my lifetime. I know, I know. And I, I called you the other day, and you like, yo, Joe, they want to say hi. And I say, yo, what's up? And they, and, and it's the, it's the, the Rolls Royce dealership. Yeah. <laughs> and you just cop some, yo, Amber, what's that like? Growing up poor, growing up in Philly, living in mansions in L.A. Right. And copping, being a female, which is that, you know, anything's possible, but. No, I get it. I get Copping it. convertible Rolls Royces and shit like that in Beverly Hills. Like, what is that like? I mean, it feels amazing. You know, I, you know, honestly, Joe, I was like, man, I just kind of want to go look at a new car. And I walked in. Got approved real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Signed the papers and I was out. You got good credit. I do have good credit. I do. Did they even give Fat Joe a hard time? No, I, I got really, I mean, I got approved in like five minutes. So you take it serious but like I also, that. But that's not my first Rolls Royce. So once you, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Wraith too, but now I got the Dawn. So what was it like? What was it like getting your first Rolls Royce? Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna I'm blow my wife up, right? You know, we was really poor when she met me. I only had a mattress on the floor. When she walked in my crib in my apartment, I had a one, a one in one, a right. one bedroom, one bath. That's it. No furniture, a boombox, and a mattress on the floor. That sounds like the apartment I grew up in. No, this is a fact, though. So no, she I'm comes up in there, and she probably looking like, damn, this nigga pop, right? And so I'm with her. I remember when I got my first, you know, little, little money, the tiny money. I bought her fur, and we lived in the building. When I gave her that fur, she ran up. It was like nine of our apartments and knocked on everybody's door and showed them her fur. That's tight. That was only a two thousand dollar fur, twenty five hundred dollar fur. Yeah. So what was it like for you when you cop your first Rolls Royce? Like how how did you feel? Um, I've never been in such luxury in my life. Like getting in a Rolls Royce, I, I, I the carpet, the 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 because I got the rates first. So it was like the stars in the ceiling, and just I just couldn't believe it was mine. 
I honestly, I couldn't. But to be all the way honest with you, when I got my race, I, my credit wasn't as good as it was now. And I had to put more money down. I had to put like a buck 50 down um, and kind of just lease it out. Like I had to pay for it up front because my credit wasn't like that. But I mean, that was like, let me see, three years ago, four years ago. Um, and then once you already, once you lease a rose, you know, you, you, it's easier. It's like once you pay on time and shit, they don't give a fuck. You know, we, we talking for transparency. If I say anything that's wrong, you can stop me and I won't talk about it because I'm not trying to play, but it's a known fact. You used to dance, you used to strip, right? Yeah. And I'm just thinking, because I'm thinking about this. No, no, I'm just thinking about this uh, Cinderella because you like got a Cinderella type story, right? Yes. But I imagine if when you did strip, because damn, I missed that one, right? <laughs> Fab did. Um, Fab used to be in there all the time. Well, Fab been everywhere <laughs> respectfully. You know what I mean? He worked all the time. Don't say no, that. respect. Please, I love like, Emily. Let's take that. Let's let, 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 roll that one back. Like that, um, he, she knows. Not me. like that. Let's roll like that one back. <laughs> Let's roll that one back, right? Uh, but I, even though I made make it rain, like people don't understand, I came up with the name, with the word make it rain. I don't think people understand that. The, the slang, the slang. Like when I made make it rain, I made up the slang, make it rain. And now I see bank commercials, all type of shit. Make it rain, you know, Black Panther, you know. They, you, need and, a check. Um, you need a check, Joe. I've been needed a check for something. <laughs> but my thing is, I, believe it or not, I've never been a strip club type of guy, even though I made that song. Like, I've, I've always felt, I know it's old school, but I always felt like weird. Like, I felt like girls would be looking like, this guy's a rapper. Like, what do you, what do you got, what is he doing in here? Like, what, is he no, thirsty? No, but, but, but let me just. It's me, different now. No, but let me just say this, going back to Fat. He was always very respectful, never touched nobody, wasn't a weirdo. But he would come in and really look out, you know what I'm saying, for all of us. Everybody that worked at Sue's Rendezvous, <laughs> just throw it in the air, and we would be good, you know, like. <laughs> so, for real, like, you know, he used and to so look the, out. And like, so the question is, right, so being that I'm not, you know, I, I don't really frequent the strip club scene, right, which is nothing wrong with it, right? Mm -hmm. I would imagine Amber Rose was like, and coming to the stage, Amber Rose. And everybody went and got their dollars together to throw it at you. You weren't the, I can't imagine you being the stripper at the back. You know, no, like, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Well, that, so, so, that's so, so you was the most popping stripper when you were stripping in the joint? I mean, there was, listen, when I, when I was stripping, this was 10, 11 years ago. Um, everyone, Who was stripping to? Who you used to come and be like, yo, that bitch better not be on her A game. I need to get my money. Well, Who I'll was like honest, popping? Yo, I, had, I had a lot of friends and I've always been a cool ass chick. So I always, all the strippers, we were all really close. Um, but all the women there were equally beautiful. Like you had to really be beautiful to work at Sue's Rendezvous. Yeah, like, but you know, when they did this, uh, I'll never forget. When they did this, uh, what was the joint I did all the way up in the strip club in Queens that closed down? It was really fly for like a year or two. I did the all the way up video there. But I remember I went there one night and they was like, yo, Joe, you got to see the strip club and shit is fly. And I went, there was a girl named Panda, Panda Supreme. Okay. She was about that life. So when she stepped up on that stage, they threw so much fucking money. It was like everybody saved their money to throw it at her. So besides Amber Rose at that time, who was the Panda Supreme at that time that was really making noise? We didn't we we didn't have one. We were we were all really popping. I ain't gonna lie to you, Joe. But I'll tell you a quick story. So when I first started at Sue's, this girl, she was doing like all this crazy pole work. She was like a real skinny girl. And so, you know, Sue's had like seven stages, right? It was like a rotation around. And she got on stage first, and these guys just had dumb stacks of money, right? They didn't give her nothing, Joe. Like not one dollar, right? And then it was my turn. she worked hard. 
she worked hard. She did work hard. She did work hard. So it was my turn to get up on that stage and then she had to move to the next stage. And so as Joe, I put my motherfucking toe on that stage. It was a tsunami, right? I didn't even start dancing yet. And this when I first started. So long story. I threw short, the money too. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, but I would have threw all my fucking money. I would have threw all that shit. <laughs> I'd have been like, yo, please, can I borrow nah, something? No, they did. They did. I mean, just off that one stage, I probably made like six grand off that one guy and like his friends, right? So I go in the back and she gangs up on me with like these girls and she's like, oh, these bitches just want to come in the club and fucking take our money, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yo, I know you're talking to me. Like, don't speak indirect, bitch. I know you're talking to me, right? So... She's like, bitch, whatever, we ain't talking to you. So end of the night, um, put my clothes on. I just got my pants on at the time, no shirt. And the girl's like, I heard one of the bitches in the dressing room want to fight me. So I'm like, oh, my God, I'm really about to fight this bitch because I got money and she didn't, right? So she says, I was like, yo, bitch, I know you're talking to me. Just fucking stop. You're just mad because I made money and you didn't. And the other girl jumped in the conversation and she was like, yo, don't talk to her like that. She's a fucking veteran here. And I was like, yo, she's mad at me because I made money, right? So then the girl- I hate these kind of people. It happens with men too, where they just want to start. So you might as well punch a bitch in the face. No, so wait, because so the other girl, the second girl, I didn't know that she was a lesbian because I just started. So her girlfriend jumped in the conversation. And then I was like, yo, bitch, let's go, right? So she swung on me. We start fighting. Her girlfriend jumps in. The bitch that initially started the whole thing jumps. They start jumping me. And then I'm fighting all three of them. And I'm like, and these are like really tough Dominican girls from the Bronx. Like they were not fucking around. Yeah, yeah. And um, MMA yeah. bitches. And you, but you going, you going, but, but you know they want that bag. They want that six grand. No, but so I wind up fighting them, right? Yeah, but it's, a, it's always a, all an excuse to grab your bag. I, I hope you know that. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a, listen, I've, I've been a stripper for a long time. Ain't nobody gonna grab my bag. There they ain't no way. I'm just saying that's what they was trying to do. No, they were just I know these theater, grimy so. Bronx bitches. I know them. Stop. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what, though? I left. I was like, oh, I guess I can't go back there because these bitches are going to beat me up all the time. The manager called me and was like, Amber, I fired those girls. I needed an excuse to fire those girls. They were fired. I went back to the club. Joe, I made so many friends. The, all the other girls were cool as fuck. I was there for probably two years. I had the best time of my life at Zeus. Yeah, Amber, Besides I got beat up every fighting, day. I, I got beat up. First of all, let's get this clear. I'm considered one of the toughest guys in the universe. And with that being said, if I tell you my truth, I got beat up every day at junior high school. Every single day. There wasn't a day I didn't have a black eye, a bloody nose, a lip. Thanksgiving, I'm like this with the black eye. Christmas, I'm like this with the uh, Easter, I'm like this. But I fought these guys, 20 guys every day. And um, Me too. And, and you gain their respect right. like that. So at the end of the day, you know, people, uh, they can laugh at the guy getting bullied, but they wouldn't fight if it, if it happened to them. And right, no. it, was, it was crazy. Shout out to my man, Tone Patron. One day he comes in the studio. Now I'm Joe Crack. And he comes with a dude and the dude tells me, yo, what's up? And Tone's like, that's my man. And then the dude says, yo, my wife went to junior high school with you. And yo, Amber, my whole shit just fell like, I felt like, oh shit, the gig is up. This guy knows I got my ass whipped every day. Like, you know, and he's in the, I'm Joe Crack the Dawn, right? And so, and I was like, word, your wife went to junior high with me? He was like, yeah. I said, so she must have told you I used to get my ass whipped every day. And he said, yeah, she told me that. And I said, word, and she said, but she look at it different. She said, you the toughest nigga she know. Because you went out there and you fought those guys every day. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. I and you know, you never, you got to see it from different lenses. Right. 
you know. Well, and, I mean, where we grew up, it's like you can't not fight, or you just not gonna be able to leave your house. It's just you got to go on with your life. And like back then it's like you could fight and have a fair one or like my mom will come on the block and make sure it was a fair one. You know, that's just how I got <laughs> silly. Your mom but, got busy? No, well, my mom would be there to make sure nobody would jump in a nobody fight. Nobody jump you. Girl. Yeah. And so, and so me, no bullshit. Where I grew up, I guess I was the guy Amber Rose because I grew up with blonde hair, green eyes in the middle of the hood that was 99.9% .9 black. Same. And nobody ever told me I wasn't black. No one, okay. Nobody ever told me that. And so I'm like, I'm a baby. This is where they bring me in this place. And I grow up two, three, four, five years old, kindergarten, playing karate, like thinking I'm, and, um, and so, Especially in my block, they never had like no Latinos really put it down like me. Right. But forget that. Every other block really never seen nobody like me. They was like, oh no, you know, that is not happening here. Like, like this guy, like, and, and so I used to get into a lot of beef because they ain't seen nobody like me. They they, right. they just ain't. They just ain't seen nobody like me. Um, let me ask you a question. The OnlyFans, we know husband, uh, what's that like? Cause me and Khaled, we started a motivational, you know, uh, an empowerment, motivational, inspiring the people on the OnlyFans. And, and when we said we was going to do it and we are doing it, uh, it starts the 25th. Mm -hmm. They were like, Everybody I know was like, yo, everybody's busting it open on there. It's wow. It's pretty much porn. And but the owner Well a was lot like, of it, yo. a lot of it is I mean, initially OnlyFans was a lot of porn. That's what it initially was, and that's why it has like a bad stigma. Um on my OnlyFans I do show my breasts. Um only because they're titties and I So you're saying on OnlyFans I am able to see Amber Rose's breasts like not covered like breasts. All out breasts, yes. Oh God. Yes. Oh God. But I That's... mean, for me, for me, it's not a big deal. They're just titties. I mean, I've been a stripper. Like, who cares? You know. I, for somebody else, they might not be comfortable with that. But I feel like you see one pair of titties, you've seen them all. So I might as well make money off them. You know? Not but necessarily. But Joe, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Joe. No. I, I'm not going to tell you how much I made because I just don't want it on the blogs and shit. I don't want people in my pockets. But I made a lot of Oh, no, you buying Rolls like, Royces. You buying oh, yeah. Rolls Royces but, convertible. But, like, oh, no, we're not confused. <laughs> you making a lot of money. Them shits is 450000 I know exactly what they cost. So you making some serious coin on OnlyFans. I mean, that's like one video, though. That's like one video. Like that's I don't think they want to hear me talk shit like that to give me like a half a million dollars just to talk shit. Like, I mean, this shit get butt naked, Joe. You make a million dollars quick. I'm telling you, bro. So you saying if I fell the fuck off and I got no money. You said if you pick the only fans, done, bro. You if I go money. on the OnlyFans and get ass naked, I'm lit. I'm like, overnight, I got a meal? Yep. <laughs> Wait. And so, I said so to I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this for the people that are watching. I had posted, um, I had I had sent out a DM the other day of my OnlyFans, and I said, should I shave or should I wax it? And I made a lot of money off of that. So just so off of saying that, no, just no, no, the I, no, I showed them. No, I showed them. You showed them the thing, but I didn't. I didn't open it. I just showed the frontal. Yeah. So. Subscribe to my OnlyFans, y'all. And um, oh God, out. Amber, yo, Amber. So I said, right. So I said to myself, look, I was telling my man Fuzzy it's today. I don't know if you know Fuzzy from LA. Uh, big boy's right hand man forever. I had lunch with him, and I said, Fuzz, as long as you ain't robbing people, raping people, scamming people. No one should be able to ask you how you make your money. Exactly. Like, I don't, I do not ask 
no disrespect, these white people who live next to me in mansions, how the right. fuck they get their money? Yeah. I, I, as long but as we Joe, pay our money on taxes. I don't, I don't give a fuck who asked me about what, because I'm me. Like, all my videos and my pictures are just me. So it's my body, my choice. I own my body. I can do what I want with my body. I don't have nobody in my videos with me. I'm not doing no porn. I'm not doing none of that, but I am showing my body. Yo, but let me ask you something, yo, Amber. That would be the mother shit, huh? If you said one day, if you said one day, you said Fat Joe go naked, I get a million dollars tomorrow. If you said, yo, it's going down, like a pay per view, like a like a like a. If, if you set it up, like a no, I wouldn't, do that. Fight, I wouldn't do that. Amber Rose is going to get it on 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 the OnlyFans. Her husband, no, I'm just saying. No, with, I mean, with, but, but for me, like... I'm with that break the record, Amber, we just having fun. We, we just no, yeah, it. no, of course, yeah. I, I, How much yeah, money do you think you make in, 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 in that one? Like, what, what's the blowout sale? Like, you know... I'll probably, make, I'll probably make 10 million off that. Easy. Just on OnlyFans. I got to manage you, man. <laughs> Listen, get in line. Get in line, because they, they all want a piece of my OnlyFans, Joe. I'm telling you. Yo, they and, all and, want a piece of my OnlyFans, bro. And it ain't okay. just you; it's a lot of it's it's a lot of people making a lot of money, right? Because I heard like Tiger. This. But let's do let's do the math, right? I got twenty point two million followers on Instagram. Now I send that traffic over to my OnlyFans. So let's say, for example, I only have a hundred thousand people. A hundred thousand people buy a twenty dollar video. You know. Oh, look. Oh! Hey. <laughs> I'll have one, go have one. Ah. Tell if you can get on the internet and get butt naked. Ah. <laughs> yo, 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 you got one, man. Got yo, one. don't be interrupted. This is Amber Rose. Amber Rose. Oh, oh, oh. Amber Rose. What's up? What's up? Don't play it. Don't ever play yourself. It's Amber Rose. Legend. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Let's go. This is my Tell me about Amber Rose. Oh, oh yeah, your biggest numbers. Amber yeah, Rose. I mean, she's <laughs> Amber Rose is the she the only she the only artist slash everything that's ever been on twice, Yo. other than the media family. Well, she's family. That's family. She's family. making so much money. Amber and Rose is on really? only fans. Like she said, she said, she said all she had to do was say her shit was not shaved or something. And she made about a million dollars. Just I said, I, I told Joe, I said, yo, if if y'all if you get butt naked on that bitch, <laughs> you make a million dollars. I gotta leave, bro. This is, yeah. y'all don't know what y'all talking about. He got on the way. He don't know what we talking about. I'm about money. He don't want no problem. He don't want no parts of this thing right here. Do you want to compliment her in any way, Cal? No, shout out to Amber Rose. Amber Rose. Thank you, been, Thank you been, Cal. Uh, Amber Rose been fan from day one. Always showing love. Um, congrats to you and your family. You know what I'm saying? You got a beautiful family, your kids. God bless you. You know that. God bless Nothing you. but love. God bless Amber you. Amber Rose, peoples, Hi. man. Yo, but I can't be you know, we doing motivation. I know we're doing motivation, inspiration. She know we motivation, inspiration. She know we talking to the people. Not. Yeah, Amber. Yeah, Amber, let me hey, tell you. <laughs> yeah, Amber Rose. Yeah, but let me tell you something, man. <laughs> so I go, I say, so you the original, right? Oh, so let me say, so I go, so I know obviously your your your, your husband has to be very open minded, right? And and he don't give a fuck as long as it's yours. Look, but don't touch, right? And I see another husbands with their wife on OnlyFans, like real husbands, like real, and, and so that's cool. I mean, he, he don't got no other choice. I don't, no, I, I don't live my life like that. So, so let me give you a little background on me and my husband. When I met him, I told him that I would not be controlled. I'm a feminist and you know, as long as I'm not disrespecting you, what I want to do with my body as far as OnlyFans or anything like that, that's my choice for my body. And, you know, if you want to get into a relationship with me, then that's just 
how my, that's how my life works. But I also give him the same respect, you know? Yeah, but you know, Amber, some guys, you know, guys, you know, guys are like soft, right? So, so a guy front like he talks. But he's not soft. He's not I'm not soft. saying him. I'm but not saying takes, him. He takes the videos of me. He takes the pictures and videos of me. Like he, he knows I'm home every night with me and the, and the kid, uh, him and the kids. So. Yeah, but you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, like you got guys, say me and my friends, they say I'll ever catch my girl cheating. You know what I'm saying? But they be the same ones, take them back. You know, these guys are like, say like, you know, so, so the, the, one of the worst things I ever seen was, and it's every day. So a guy get with you and be like, yo, Amber, I always wanted you, I want you, right? And then he gets with you, and then he start asking you if you ever been with that other guy before. Yo, you did not know this guy at this yeah. time. And so these guys, we still- No, I tell them. I tell them who I've been with. A lot of guys can't handle that. Then they don't need to be with me because I don't- They won't be with you, but you do know they can't handle that. I know, but Joe, for me, it's like when I was younger, that maybe could have been an issue. But at my age now, I, I don't got, I got zero tolerance for that. Like, you can't be mad at me or who I fucked before I met you. Like, that's just childish. I can't. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't no, agree I, yeah, that I, a guy could be mad at who you was with before they was, they, I don't agree with that. Like, I mean, like, but yo, my you better ask is, like is now that. she's yours. Nobody can have her. Yeah, my, my husband's he's very supportive. He doesn't care about my past. We don't, we talked about it initially when we got together and then that was it, it's just done. And the past fades. Yeah. So sure. even though a guy had you before, as time goes on, he's, he can't really remember. Like it fades, like, so it's not, you can't think like if a guy, man, maybe I'm talking too much real shit right now, right? <laughs> yo, uh. <laughs> Yo, let's not nah, listen. Now, I might be giving the girls too much I game. I might be giving girls too much game, and I'm, I'm, I'm I might, I'm guy cold. So I almost cracked one of the the biggest birds and the bees <laughs> things that guys don't talk about. But um, that's crazy. And uh, and because of COVID, the slut walk ain't. Is there a viral slut walk? No, Joe, because it just, it just doesn't, I mean, my slut walk is a lot of people, you know what I mean? It's like trying to do a festival online. It's, it's not, it's just not realistic. You don't feel the energy. You don't, I mean, you have to be there, you know, but I, I do feel like by next year, for sure. I think we should be good by next year with the vaccine and all that shit coming out. I mean, hopefully um, we can get rid of this thing and get back to work. Would you get the vaccine? I would personally, um, only because I know a lot of doctors and nurses. I have really good friends that are um, in the medical field and they highly recommend getting the vaccine over getting COVID. Um, so you know, I, I, got, I, I, I took my mother and father to get the vaccine last week. Yeah. And and they were like, and my aunt, shout out my aunt Barbara. I know she's watching my favorite aunt in the world. And she was like, hell no. She was on that Bronx shit. I ain't getting the vaccine. I said, yo, you better get your ass the vaccine. D -D. Yeah. And I took my mother and father to get the vaccine. Good. And I'm happy they got it. I don't see no fuck side effects. Right. No, I, I got a friend who got it. I don't know if I want to tell your business, but my, my, a good friend of mine, um, she got COVID right now, and she said every day it's a different symptom. Right. Yesterday was pink eye. The day right. before was the bloody nose. The, the, the whatever. Every day it's a different. It's horrible. It's, it's, yeah. It's a horrible thing. I mean, I'm looking forward to the vaccine. I feel like the more people that get it, um, you know, the the only thing with the vaccine it has blockers, right? So we can still carry COVID and spread it, but we won't be affected by it. Um, so that's why they want everyone to take the vaccine so it could be eradicated around the world. Mm -hmm. but I, I think, think the more I people that take the, the vaccine, uh, the, the less contagious this thing will be and the less thing it will be around. So yeah. I think that's the, that's the smart thing about the vaccine. And, and, and thank God for OnlyFans because you've been able to work from home. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. I mean, I financial freedom. You know what I'm saying? I spend time with my kids and my family. I don't got to worry about 
you know, doing this, doing that, going here, going there. Like, it's it's wonderful. I highly recommend it to everybody. Um, I highly recommend it. What was you the? Uh, and I don't want to allude to that, but, I, but 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 let's let's. We might have to give you props in in a crazy, insane way. Um. Uh, but were you the first like famous because you was a real famous uh, ex of a famous guy? Was you like the first one to crack that shit open? Because now we got the exes on yeah. TV. We got like, like, like you know, like Housewives well, of Miami. To my recollection, I think so because I remember when I was dating him. I was like, I didn't think I would be famous. Like, I didn't think, or, yeah, I didn't think. It wasn't, it wasn't famous before that. It was not famous before that moment. Like, yeah. it was not famous. And I think till you. Well, I just started walking around and paparazzi started following me. And I was like, I'm just his girlfriend. I'm not famous. Like, leave me alone. And that's how it was in the beginning. And then I just had to, I had to get used to it. And then I, and then you know, obviously we broke up, and then I was out on my own. But it just never stopped. It just never stopped. And you know what? A lot of people have moments because I, re I recall Amber Rose, ba boom, like you're walking on that red carpet. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, who's the cheesy?" <laughs> right? So I remember that moment. But a lot of people have moments but don't know how to stretch it out to, we talking 10 years later, right? Yeah. So would you consciously knowing that you was going to stretch this thing out or it just happened naturally? Well, I think what people don't understand is that like fame doesn't equate to money. So like, you know, I was famous, but I was, you know, Kanye had the money. I was a stripper. I didn't have no money. So I had a, figure out what I'm going to do with this fame and how I'm going to make money out of it after that. So I could have went back to the strip club, but um, I made a lot of really great friends during that relationship. And I was always very nice and humble and people wanted to help me. They wanted to see me win. And so, um, you know, people like Russell Simmons and, um, you know, they just, would connect me with other people and then I start doing parties. I mean, that's how I started. I started doing parties all over the world. I remember that. Yeah, and then I would stack my money and then, um, you know, I would just, um, and then I did the Smirnoff campaign, which I, that's how I made my first million dollars in 2011. So they um, paid you a million dollars Smirnoff for you to do the ad, to be an ambassador. Yeah, I made a million dollars that year, yeah. That was my first million in 2011. And then, um, and then I wrote a book. And then... Um, How did the book go? Because I'm writing my book down. Yeah, so I made I, a lot of money off my book. So I did, a full, I did a full book and then I did a full audio book with my own voice. So um, I had an audio book as well. A lot of people bought that. And that's what the problem is. Because I know I, I, I just finished writing the book. 24 chapters. It's... Phenomenal. Ain't none of these rappers like me. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. But when you get mm -hmm. this book, you're gonna be like, damn. I know Joey was putting it down, but for real, for real. Mm -hmm. and, but I know they're gonna want to ask because they say I'm a good storyteller. They're gonna be like, Joe, I want you to do the audio. Like, Jesus Christ. So, I mean, so, I'll tell you, Joe, it's the worst fucking headache you'll ever have in your life. No, it's horrible. I, I already know I'm gonna have it's to horrible, say all this shit. But I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did. And like, for people that are listening, you think it's just reading a book out loud. It's not. It's not. It's really fucking hard. It took me like two weeks. But um, I made a lot of money off the audio book. I really did. So, so, so you recommend I do the audio too? And you have such an amazing voice, Joe. Like you should. People want to hear you talk like while they're getting dressed and ready or whatever they're doing in the house. You know, a lot of people don't have time to pull out a book and read it. Like they want to hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm an audio. I'm, 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 I'm an audible person myself. Yeah. I don't read books. I can read. I'm very literate, but I like to hear it more. Like even when I sit down to do business, 
they could give me breakdowns and they could give me all that. I'm like, yo, let's run through this. Like, I, I always say I'm like an old Jewish accountant in the back of a store right. that got all his notes on a little notebook. I'm like, yo, I got to hear this shit. Right. And once I hear it, you can't go, I don't give a fuck. You can't go back on me and tell me some, yo, you know what I told you? You ain't tell me that, bro. Right. If you told me, you told me. If you ain't tell me, you ain't tell me that, bro. Like, right. I know what it is. Like, you know, once I hear it, and sometimes I hear stuff, and if I didn't catch it, if I went home that night and was just thinking in my bed, I would hear the shit. So they come like, oh, shit. She told me some shit. <laughs> and then I, you know, it's just, that's the way, oh, uh, my mind. So the book was great. Yeah, I did well with the book, and then I signed a deal with Dr. Phil for my own talk show. Um, and he was really great. It was great to work with Dr. Phil and his company. Um, the talk show went really well. It's just that, um, you know. So basically, you parlayed, you parlayed your life, and you went out there, and you made something of yourself. What do you say I'll, of the I'll haters? Just, I'll just say this. The, fan, the fame was handed to me the fame I, I wasn't expecting that joe I, I really wasn't i was very humble in that relationship i was not expecting that but everything that i have made from that point on is all me i all the money all the deals everything are my relationships and me just being a good person and being easy to work with i think that's why i'm still here because i'm very easy to work with i'm on time i'm punctual um, even you, I, I, you know, I called you an hour before because we were supposed to get on on Wednesday. And I'm like, Joe, you know, I'm buying this car real quick, but I got you on Friday and I was on time. So it's just, you know, no, no, you, no, no, no. And that's, and, and to word, me, I like to think, your word I like to think, I like to think, uh, that it's worth something. I'm the same way. I'm a nice guy. People deal with me. I'm always courteous. I speak from to the mailroom guy, to the CEO, I, I cordial, I treat everybody with respect, uh, and I get the job done. Um, even if it's 16 hours, whatever I gotta do, I go Yo, do hold it. Hold on, hold on. Do you remember when I first kind of met you? I forget <laughs> where we were, but you were in a room with your family eating a bunch of Spanish food. And, and, I, and we invited you to eat because we knew everybody was starving. You invited and, me in to eat, and I was just like, oh, my God, I'm really eating with Fat Joe's family right now. Like you, were, you guys were so nice to me, and that was fucking 2010, 11. It was so long ago. See, but look at that. Look how far I went. I called you up for a second appearance on the Big Big Show. And you remember them Tostones and them Chichado on the Pollo, Dominican pool. Yes. They said, now nah, I got to look out for Joey. I got to make sure he oh, See what I mean about being nice to people? Yep. Yep. It goes a long way. Yep. You definitely fed me that day. And I remember being hungry as fuck, smelling that food. Like, No, yep. we, 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 we tried not to, you know, shit, man. You know, we love food. We love food. Me too. You know, you know what I'm saying? And so it's a constant battle. It's a constant fight. You know, I work out. I try everything, but I love good food. Like right now, while I'm talking to you, I'm thinking about a steak. A, a, me too. a fucking a, a bone and ribeye. Like I'm like, me too, me yo, too. man, a bone and ribeye would be real nice right That's now. That's my favorite, a bone and ribeye. is my favorite, Joe. That I'm a steak and potatoes kind of girl. I'm not even going to lie to you. And do you eat it like see well seasoned or you like because I got some no disrespect white friends that they just hit that shit two times. They throw it on there and go shh, shh, and here's the steak. And I'm like, what the fuck? This guy that are we murdering this motherfucker? Not so, I, it... so I put um Creole seasoning, I put garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, parsley, and then I let it marinate for a little bit. They and season it. So you season it, cause I know oh, yeah. some people they feel like I like my steak so, spicy. <laughs> and I think you like life spicy. I do, I do. And what do you and what do you say? I was trying to ask you this earlier. What do you say? You told, right? What do you say to haters 
that say, yo, that girl's famous for no reason. She's famous for nothing. no reason. I don't say nothing to them. I don't talk to them. I don't talk to no haters. You don't see me in no comments, clapping back. I don't, I don't got time for that. That's why I'm an open book, Joe. There's nothing that nobody can say about me that I don't say about myself. I love OnlyFans. I show my titties. I'll get butt naked on that bitch. I'll make my fucking money. I love my family. I love my kids. How much is this OnlyFans? My OnlyFans? Yes. Oh, it's only it's only nineteen dollars. You took a dollar off too. You know we used to back in yeah, the days when I why, used to but hustle. You know why? But you know why, Joe? Why? Marketing. This is marketing. So the amount of people that follow me. You got to look at it like Netflix. You can't charge people a hundred dollars each. Don't nobody want to pay that. No, 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 no. But I'm saying the average price there is 20 and you went 19. Yes, I so did. So what I'm trying to tell you is that's like, you know, back in the days we used to hustle. No, I don't encourage nobody to do it, but they, they get, cracks used to cost $10, right. right? And then we started pumping two for fives. So two for fives would have got you killed on the wrong block because right. motherfuckers is like, yo, he fucking up the money. We got these custies paying 10 and he throwing out two for fives. So right. I'm saying $19, most people got 20. That was marketing, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, and I don't, I don't sell anything in my DMs for over $25. Nothing. You know, I don't it, sell I don't sell nothing in my DMs for over twenty five dollars. So like, what do you mean in your DM? Because I'm getting new to the OnlyFans, but we're talking about motivational stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, so people will subscribe to you and Khaled's OnlyFans, right? That costs money unless you make that part free, right? No, we didn't. We got we got to get paid. We got to pay okay, the bills. So so they subscribe for let's say I don't know ten dollars, twenty whatever, right? Twenty bucks. They subscribe. Then you you can post it on your timeline, right? And it can be like a snippet of what you're gonna talk about. Then you hit them in a mass DM and be like, for the full 20 minute video, click unlocked and you gotta pay 20 bucks for that. Like the way something like that would work for me is if like we're doing like a birthday party and it's lit. The planet Earth is in there and we like, yo. $20 DM, you gonna, it's going to be lit. You in the party. Yeah, so you can go on live on OnlyFans. Mm. So you go on your Instagram and you be like, go on OF. You can't stay OnlyFans anymore. Go on OF. Go to my OF. I'm about to go live. So then you bring people over to your OF. And then they have to pay, I don't know, $5 each, $2 each, whatever to watch your live. There's a hustle. It's a, it's, it's a legal hustle. Yeah. It's like a virtual strip club, to be honest. That's all it is. I'm just you back at me, the Khaled, every, Yo, they dragged me. Because we said we we are only fans of joint. They, yo, if you saw the shit, they were saying. Uh, I can them. only imagine, because I was. Yo, I, I they was it. dragging us. They was like another one, this, all type of shit. Well, you know, I've been doing this so long, I'm thick skinned. Yeah, you know what I mean. I could pretty much take anything. But you know, they just they just fucking around. They obviously know you ain't doing shit on there, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. They Not know at it. all. But but giving them that game so they could go get that bread. Yeah. Joe, you know let me ask you a question. Why are you not on Clubhouse? All right, Clubhouse for one. I've been on there two, three times. It's incredible, right? It's very addictive, right? So like, you know, these guys, and no disrespect to these guys, but these guys who play Fortnite or NBA 2K, they spend too much time on that shit. And all that time, you, you, we all get the same 24 hours in a day. Right. I cannot spend six hours playing the motherfucker basketball in the crib. No, you can leave whenever you want. I know, but I feel like clubhouse is the same thing i feel like it's addictive like a game and once you in there you want to listen you want to this number two is you can't really unless it's your 
Clubhouse, the, the Amber Rose presents uh, Fuck Off 2021. Whatever it is, that yeah. you can control. But if you jump in somebody else's thing, you can't control the narrative. Yeah, I mean, so that's the thing. I really, I really only go into rooms with like Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked. It's my I, guy. Yeah, I'll go into rooms with certain people that like know how to control a room. You know what I'm saying? If it's just a bunch of people arguing and shit, I won't go in there. And I and and I also seen some stuff in there. Uh, were heard discussions that could really get me in trouble. Right, because I'm very opinionated. I feel you. And I'll say the wrong shit. Like, bad, though. Shit, like, like I wouldn't say, like, you know, I could go bad. Like, and, and I could show my... Like, I think you all could, Joe, to be honest. No, I like, my new... Listen, I grew up in the projects with no disrespect. Uh, at least when I was growing up, it was home of stink bitches. Like, you know, so you had to be your sword... The shit you say, because I was fat fucking stinking Joey. I was, you know, I was all that shit. So my sword, my my, my clap back had to be so legend. Oh, yeah. To, to, so, so I got, it's bad. Like, I could go bad, right? I feel you. I feel so you. that's what I'm saying. If I'm up in there, you know, a normal person fuck with Fat Joe or love this show and listen every day, they'll be like, nah, I can't fuck with this guy. It's too bad. Like, <laughs> You know, like, you know, so I try to, like, not get in those type of discussions. But I think it's amazing. Well, if I do a room, I'll come and invite you in. and I'll Yeah, invite me. I did Jason Lee two weeks ago. It was the last time I was there. Uh, we did, like, a talent search. Me, oh, him, I'm Tiffany really Haddish, Neo. That was dope. Yeah. But, you know, they go in there and they talking crazy shit. Yeah, they do. Like, they do. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want nobody to call me up while they talking some crazy shit. I'm not, you know, I'm not there for that. Um, My bad. Are we ever going to hear this music? What music? Yeah, so no music. So what no, I'm, I'm not saying doing is... Music, Joe. All right, I'm sorry. I mean, no, it's all good. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I didn't, I, I, you know, I'm sorry, right? And so, so no music, right? And, no. and so, because I, what won't Amber Rose do? Like, what, what, like, because I think you can act. I think you can, you had your own talk show. You an ambassador. You don't give a fuck. I you don't speak up for women. Yes. Like, and what, what won't you do? I mean, there's a lot I won't do, but I, I don't like, listen, I don't, I don't like quick, short money. I don't like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, with my OnlyFans, it's like a pandemic. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense. But um, I won't just, um, I won't just do anything for money. I'm not that type of person. I've turned down a lot of shit, you know? Um, like, I definitely, like we said earlier, I would never do a porn. It's just not who I am. I just, I'm not into shit like that. Um, I would. Um, That's a $10 million uh, theory. Yeah, but it's just, you know, see, with my sons, when I teach my sons, it's my body, my choice. And um, my, especially Sebastian, he knows I used to be a stripper. He cracks jokes all day. He's seven, but he's smart. He's gifted, you know? The um, most handsome kid in the world. <laughs> I love that guy. Y'all want to see him? Yeah, where he at? Hold on. He in here playing Fortnite. See what I'm saying? It's I'm going to show, show you my baby. Hold on. Hey, pumpkin. Say, say hi to Fat Joe and everybody. Hey. What's up, man? <laughs> He said, How you doing? Good. <laughs> He's into his game. Yo, <laughs> Look, he, man. Let he me got tell his, you something, He man. got his Lamborghini sheets and stuff. I know how you see. I, I, I love how how you, you teach him all the old songs. 
Oh, yeah. They like don't be dirty. singing like the Phil Collins and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, you've been they- able... You've been able, at least from what we see, you've been able to juggle, like, you know, baby daddies, everybody get along. Oh, yeah. Like, and that, I, that's I not easy. My baby daddies were just together today. Today, like nothing. Yeah, because we had to go pick up Bash, and then um, Wiz came outside to see the new car, and my husband was in the car, and we, they all just got out and just started talking, and the kids were there, and it's just... It's just our family. That's unique, because you know there's a lot of lot of uh, people. I, I've dealt with this a lot with, with like friends of mine that broke up with their baby moms and their baby moms was mad that they had another girl, wouldn't let them see the kids. All That's type crazy. of like fucking drama type shit. Yeah. No, I don't do that. Did you ever have that drama or it was always smooth? Never, ever, ever. Never. I would never do that to Bash's dad. I just wouldn't do that. He's he's allowed to move on and find happiness with someone else. Who am I to keep my child away from him because he wants to date other people? Like that's just immature and ignorant. I would. Who, I, I who, wouldn't who broke up with who? Who broke up with who? Oh, that's a long story, Joe. It's a long, sad, sad story. I don't want the sad, sad. I don't want yeah, we'll I'm, just stay away from that. Because it's usually the person who broke up. I always say. The person who loves the most in the relationship is the one that gets hurt the most. Yeah. I've always said that because, and then the person who leaves the person, even if you wanted to leave a guy bad, but he beat you to it, you'd be like, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like you feel like that motherfucker left me. <laughs> like, no, I, like, think, I think what me and, what me and Wiz had was uh, very real, and that's why we loved each other so much when we were married and um and that's why we're able to really still love each other and be friends and co-parent and make life easy you know and then my husband now he's he's really amazing because he treats Sebastian as if that was his own child and so it's kind of like one big happy family we don't argue you know you 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 amber, you amber rose one of the most beautiful women in the world so i could see how you could do you know, that's another hard thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're taking a woman that has kids. You know, yeah. there's men out there that won't do it. Yeah. I mean, or I never experienced if they that, do but... do it, they'll mistreat the kid. <laughs> you heard me, Joe. What you said? I said, I never experienced that, but I hear you. Hell though. no. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's like certain women got the sting. Dad, Amber Rose can have 10 kids and the motherfucker still want to <laughs> hold her hand and walk down the street with her. I mean, that, that's rare. Yeah, but also, I mean, as you get older and, like, you date people or have relationships with people that have children themselves, they kind of can put themselves in your shoes. You know, like, sometimes shit just don't work out. And, you know, now I got two baby daddies, but... What am I supposed to do? Get a divorce? And, and, that's, how, and that's, how that, that's how that happens, right? So yeah. I don't think I don't think I did bad in my life. I have, well, I wouldn't even break one, but if we physically said I had three babies' moms. I've been with my baby moms for over 25 years, right? But before her, I had two babies' moms. I was young. I was wild. Yeah. Um, And it just happened, right? Right. But I know some rappers that got 16 babies' moms. Oh, yeah. And so, and, and, and doesn't mean you're a whore because you have two, two babies' daddies. Like, I mean, it, it, it just happens. Well, I mean, for me, it's like, maybe I am a whore, but that's okay, too. <laughs> you know, I mean... Depends on how you look at me, Joe. Now, Amber, know. this is bullshit, but, Amber. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. No, no, yeah, Amber. I think this is part of the act. It's, it's not. No, it's really this who is I part am. of your Don't stop. Amber. Ask like, about like, me, Joe. Ask about me, Joe. This is really who I am. Like I'm, I'm really this girl. Like I, you I, are. You, you're, you're telling me you're Joe. I'm a whore. Yeah. You, so you can take, you can turn a whore into a housewife. That's what you're trying to say. 
Well, this is the thing. So this is the reason why I have Listen, my Listen, everybody, there's no longer PG-13 going on right here. But go ahead. No, this so, is why this you is know the biggest wrong, Joe, because you can call anybody a whore. Not you, but anybody can call anybody a whore or a slut or a hoe, right? It's really just somebody's insecurities that are coming out on a woman. That's all it really is. So, like, no one really knows my sexual history. They know who I've dated in my past. They can assume who I fucked, but they really don't know. You know what I'm saying? They were calling me a whore when I was just with Kanye. I literally had never been with another famous person in my life before him. And, and, so, and, and I would imagine that women like you as much as the men. Probably more. Probably more, Joe. I, I've had girls try to rip my clothes off while I walked down, out, of, out of clubs. Like, it's girls are crazy. Some you know? big girls too, like big boy, like like big girls, right? Like oh, all kinds of all kinds. Like of our wildest dreams, we wouldn't believe, huh? I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot. Of, there's a lot. Well, let me shut up. Nah, I'm saying y'all ever. That's that shit. This is the only show we ever do like this. <laughs> like I don't talk like this. It's, it's Friday, right? It's Friday. Um, what happened to the comments, Joe? They're not on anymore. You shut them off. Who? The comments aren't on anymore. Yeah, I see the comments. There's a bunch of smiles. There's a bunch no, of saying, laughing. They're not, they're not on anymore. You, did you shut them off? They on mine. It says, damn, she pretty, man. Yes, and all these art, heart eyes and shit. Oh, uh, I don't see them, y'all. I'm um, sorry. So the women might be as worse as the men. No, I think the women are worse as far as... Um, Wanting you. Yeah. And, and 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 so because they know I swing that way, so it's kind of like, oh, she she with it, like it makes me like her more. That's how they yeah, feel. Amber, like, this is how you sell your shit. This is how you sell your <laughs> brand. And and, it, and and women subscribe to OnlyFans. Um, and let me ask you a question. Then, so if you swing that way, let me ask you a question. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna ask? Yes. What is it? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Ask, ask. No, no. What you you thought I was gonna ask you if you let your husband? That's what you was asking. No, I thought you were gonna ask if I bring women home. Yeah, that, I mean, I wasn't gonna ask that, but that's what you thought I was gonna ask, right? Yeah, yeah. And you won't do that. Well, see, okay, for me, Joe, I'm I'm not into threesomes. I had one threesome in my whole life, and it was very technical, and I just didn't like it. It just wasn't. I, it was just like, got to keep switching the condom, to put the condom on. It was just a lot, right? So for me, this is not my type of thing. I like more of intimacy um, when I really genuinely care about somebody. So I don't like to share anybody that I'm with. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I tried it, though. I mean, it's just, I don't like it. It wasn't it. And, and, no, I'm, and selfish. So, I'm a selfish so lover. I was gonna ask, being that you swing that way, that 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 you you thought I, that's what I was gonna ask. What I was gonna ask was this: Have you ever been in a relationship with a girl, and is women more jealous than men? Yeah, I've been in three relationships with women. With women. Yeah. And have they been more jealous than men? No. No, because this is a joker moment, guys. This is a this whole joker. shit turned into a birds and the bees. But I always no, no, assume no. that women would be more jealous than men. I Me mean, personally, my no, opinion. No, because men, other men are very aggressive, and yes, girls can be aggressive as well. But there's there's kind of this thing like if we're in, if two girls are in like a lesbian relationship, for example, and you're around other lesbians or girls that are with that shit they they kind of respect that you know what i'm saying guys don't give a fuck if you got a man they you know how many guys tried to holler at me when i was pregnant with both my kids pregnant Pre i mean th let me tell you a-list motherfucking celebrities didn't care i was pregnant none of that like i'm yo if you if my husband was here he listen 
I really had to go to him and be like, I can't believe this motherfucker tried to holla at me, rub my belly, tell me how beautiful I was. Like, shit's Yeah, wild. you ever felt like nasty, like not flattered? Like, you ever was like, yo, this nigga nasty right here. If I told my man, my man to crack his shit. Yeah. Because for me, it's like, I have a baby inside of me from another man. How could you find that sexy? But I, I'm not a man, so I don't know. You know, not, a, not you know, I, I don't know, right? Uh, I but honestly it was more don't know. When I was pregnant, it was more so, like, the, it was just, like, I was oozing sex appeal when I was pregnant. Like, guys were salivating over me that's more like than me shit. not being pregnant. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. That's, like, devil shit. You know how they say you in the devil's house? Like, that's, like, that's somebody who's so fucked up in their mind that they feel like, I want to bang this chick out while she's pregnant from another. That, that's like nasty shit. So my, so my husband said that it's not that they want to have sex with you while you're pregnant. It's more so like, let me plant this seed. So when she does have the baby, she's, she's, I'm already on her. She knows that I'm on her. So once she, once she pops out the baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm first in line. That's what Oh, that's def I get it. I get it. I get it. That might be true. Now I see that. That might be like a guy's, or what they call that, marking the territory, like just letting you know, like, oh, I want you. Yeah, when you got that baby, I'm here, bitch. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> it's crazy because I watched Versus yesterday. And both my sisters was on, and Ashante came there all gracefully. And Keisha Cole, you know, Keisha really, really hooked, right? And she got. I love Keisha, though. And, and I love them both. Right? Yeah. And, and, and they're both my sisters, right? And, and, but, you know, Ashante takes like the nice girl, classy, and then Keisha comes in there like the hood chick from the Bay. And, and so you might look and you might say, and I said, they might be a crazy ass football player. You know, these guys who killed, me. you know, one of these crazy, he looking at Keisha Cole right now, like, man, that, that hood chick, man, I need that bitch. Like, I need her. Like, you know, like, like, to each his own, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And so that, and then, and then, Okay. Is, is, is it, is, have you ever been approached like that when you was in a situation and you said, good to know? No. Good to know. I don't know. So I'm saying you might have been in a situation, not with your husband. You was no, in no, no. With another relationship no, and the never... guy went at you, but you was like, yo, I'm going to respect this, but good to know. No. That's you not ain't never like wired, that. Joe. I'm not wired like that. I don't. I, I, I've never cheated on any boyfriend I've ever had publicly, fucking privately. No, I just, I'm not, I believe in karma. And that's why God I'm bless a, I'm I'm going to say this, Amber, but with all respectfully, you know that in New York now they say respectfully, I don't believe you. But. why? See, nobody. You know, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Why are you do not believe me, Joe? Why? I don't believe you. Joe, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Joe. Let me tell you something. I, this is what you got to understand. Just like rappers, so many men throw their dick at me. It's so easy. So for me, it's not appealing because it's so easy. It's not anything to look forward. It's nothing to be excited about. Well, so if I'm, in a, if I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship because I want to be. I'm not in a Breaking news to all the guys out there, cabrón alert in Spanish, meaning like, if your girl can't walk to the bodega without a guy hitting on her, in the building, the doorman, the, it's almost like a fucking collision course, especially in New York. Like, right. I, you know, I try to think of one time a girl going to a car, or like, it's like a fucking, a, a, a battle, like, like, yeah. like just to go to the store and come back for a regular girl, not even an Amber Rose. So it is easier for women. So you, so you stand. This is a joker moment, right? 
Because you're telling me you never cheated on a guy ever in your life. I swear on my kids, I never cheated on a guy ever in my life. Mm, don't do I swear that on my book, cause... I'm just not a cheater, Joe. I'm just, this is not who I am. I don't need to cheat because I'm brutally honest. If I don't want to fuck with you anymore, I will tell you that I don't want to fuck with you anymore. I want to go our separate ways and I want to see other people. I'm not going to go behind your back and, and fucking break your heart and be a, a fucked up person. I'm just, that's not how I'm wired. So you're not a so you're not a uh, heartbreaker. No, I'm. I mean, I probably broke hearts if I was honest, but I never betrayed anyone. So if I tell you I'm with you and I'm only with you, that's really who I'm with. Like, yeah, you I know, know, I was bad when I was young, though. Like bad, though. You know, so I understand any girl that was with me <laughs> before my wife. I was I was bad. I was I was horrible. Like you know what I mean and. The fact that, you know, the fact that, you know, you got money, you, 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 you know, it's, 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 it was horrible. It was, I was a bad person. And I broke many hearts before rap music and all that. And, and I'm not proud of it, but I'm, I'm, I can't sit here and tell you that I ain't break hearts like you know, maybe you just tell her that, you know, I just watched the Billy Holiday. Shout out Lee Daniels. They said, you know, I'm media now. So they send me the movies. I'm watching the movie in the movie theater ahead of time with Hulu and Lee Daniels uh, send me the Billy Holiday stories, the United States versus Billy Holiday. <laughs> and um, Billy was a heartbreaker, bro. She was cold as ice. Yeah, I don't know like, much about her story. You don't know about her story. I don't know. I know much her, story. her music is it deep. It's so incredible. This movie, and and everybody got to see it. You know her song, which uh, it's called "Strange Fruit." It was about lynching. It was back in them days, segregation, and she was the biggest artist. And she made a, like a a theme song about lynching, and it, it it actually was called the song of the century, and and. She had a lot of drug problems, a lot of things. She had a fucked up life to begin with. You know, a lot of people don't understand you can be talented, but you can have a fucked up, up upbringing. Like her mother was a prostitute. Yeah. Uh, was selling her since she was 10. You know, real shit. You know what I mean? And, but she was a heartbreaker. Still, she was beautiful, but she was a heartbreaker. She dropped a motherfucker at the drop of the dime like, for no reason. Damn. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she, gotta watch. she was up when this movie come out. You're gonna enjoy it. Everybody's gonna enjoy it. Um, and it's sad, right? Because with artists, I don't know about you or your upbringing, you know, but a lot of artists that we really, really love have like tortured or or tortured past. Or came up like. You know, and we came up so fucked up in the head, but we got this talent of singing for the world and making music for the world, but we go through pain. Like, <laughs> and, and, and so, and what's crazy is a lot of artists uh, that use drugs, a lot of them, right? And they, 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 they so into the drugs dealing with their pain that they don't realize the love they have. Right. And and so, like, say, I think of a, a guy, famous boxer for the Puerto Ricans, Hector Camacho. He was the flyest dude back in the day, Lamborghinis, Spanish Harlem. And he was using a lot of drugs. He got killed. But when he died, the people didn't want to let him get buried. They carried his casket. They loved him. Same thing with Hector Laveau. Same thing with Billie Holiday. When she did a, a funeral, it was like fucking... The whole world stopped. Crazy. But you were in so much pain and you're trying to get over it from how you grew up or whatever the case, that you use these drugs to cope that, but it really ain't the solution. You right. know? And you you never had like a battle or nothing like like I, I wouldn't take for you to be into that, right? So this is another thing that you might not believe. I've never done a drug in my life. 
What you mean never done a drug? I never tried coke. I never tried. Um, never molly. You mm, do never it? molly. Never ecstasy. No, nothing. I mean, I took a puff of weed like when I was fourteen, but I've never smoked weed after that. And that's why you got money, Amber Rose. But let me. You, you want to hear some breaking news about me? I've never done a drug either. Really? I never smoked a cigarette. Really? I drink yeah, I just, my, you know what, I Joe? Drink my, on my so birthday, my, New Year, special days, but a drug? Yeah, like even even with alcohol, I might have a cocktail, but that's it. I'm not getting fucked up, you know. Like, you know, I sip whole, a little Ciroc, you know. My yeah, sponsor, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Diddy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not one of them guys, and I know for a fact if I was, and I said this shit today, I said this to my man Fuzzy today. I said, yo, Fuzz, if I was a drug, like if I if I was, if I did like drugs, I would never be this rich. I would never be right. this successful. I would have been one of the niggas in the trailer park yeah. when the projects, you know, fucked up. So I don't, don't do drugs. So my, my fam, most of my family is dead from overdoses. And I feel like, um, I feel like growing up knowing that and, um, one of my uncles did 28 years in prison for murder, got out after 28 years, because he had like 25 to life, got out 28 years and overdosed after all that time in prison. Then my aunt overdosed, you know? And so um, a lot of my family is gone. So I feel like growing up knowing stuff like that drugs made them, um, you know, not who they should have been. It just made me just not even try it. And so when I moved to Hollywood and I started going to these parties and they're like handing me fucking big spoonfuls of Coke, like, oh, D, like, hey, Am, you want some? Like, there's piles of it. Just take what you want. And I'm like, this is a lot for me. Like, I don't, I ain't You know, I was, knocking, I was knocking dudes out for offering me. Uh, if a dude ever offered me drugs, I punch him in his face, right, right on the spot. Like it was really? like a hidden rule of mine that yeah. if I'm coming out the, the taking a piss in a club and some dude is snipping coke and he said, "Papi, get on pasadito." I beat his ass. I, 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 yes, I will wow. beat his ass because you trying to fuck me up. No, especially out here in Miami, like it's just it's next level, bro. It's it's, I mean, mountains of cocaine just around at parties, and I'm like. Fuck that. You know, yeah. you know what's crazy? Our brother, Scott Storch. Yeah. Never he smoked weed, but yeah. he never sniffed cocaine or used the drug in front of me. Ever. Really? I'm talking about when he was Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. Listen, I would be with Scott Storch. They was probably like, get this motherfucker out of here. Cause I'd be in there, nobody could use drugs. He smokes as much. And one time, one time, I'm gonna tell Scott, Scott, I love you. One time one of my, my one of the dudes that's cool with me stood when I left. He said the minute my car left the property, they were cracking kilos of cocaine on the on the uh pool. It was like hallelujah, the look the wicked witch right. of the West is gone. And right. he's throwing the shit in the air, diving on the pool table like he I was like, supposed to go to Scott's house today. That's crazy. Scott's my brother, and I love That's him. That's my brother, too. I, you know, I met Scott in two... I was 18, 19 years old. I was dating one of his artists years ago. I know who it got to be. Damn, who? that guy was that lucky. Who? Uh, the kid. He only had one artist, so you gave it away. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so I won't say the name. Yeah, Domin he was Dominican from Philly. Dominican from, P from Philly, out. Yeah. <laughs> That was my little boyfriend. He's a cool when I was dude. Young. He's a cool dude to be. Yeah, it was so long ago, but um, yes. Yeah, wow. And then what's crazy is my stepsister started dating him after me. Really? Yeah. And what that feel? What that felt like? Oh, I didn't care. I was young. I was. <sighs> I was. I was on to the next. You know. But um, he was like, I. Right. Yeah, because it was. You know, when you young dating somebody, it ain't serious. Like. It's just like, you know, something fun to do. Oh no, y'all wanna see my baby? Slash. 
God. We getting all this footage, all this Amber Rose in the house. And we ain't paid $19. Yo, Slash, what's up, man? Slash. Oh, he's beautiful, too. What's up, Slash? What's up, man? Hi. <laughs> Say it's hi, the Uncle Cookie Joey. Monster. Hi, Uncle Joey. It's the Cookie Monster. <laughs> he's 14 <laughs> months already. Well, he's beautiful, man. Thank you. Wow. He's really beautiful. You make beautiful kids, Amber. Thank you, Joe. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to give back to Victoria. Here, Vicky. Oh, God. And so I'm going to let you go. Um. Joe, this has been Thank great. Anytime you need me, man, I'm here. Somebody don't show up. You know, somebody got to do something. Yeah, you, Amber, you, know, I got that light. you know, when they ask me, when it, when your name come up anytime, be like, yeah, that's my girl. Like, you know, I got her. Like, <laughs> she, you know, she's part of the, <laughs> you know, she's part of the team. I got her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Same, same here, Vice Joe. versa, you know that. Oh, yeah, always. You call me up and say, yo, Joe, what's up with this? And I'll be like, yo, check this out. Right. This is the play. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and the thing, let me let me end it with you like this. The thing about me is that I want everybody to win. We as powerful as our friends that are winning. Right. I preach this like every day of my life. It's like, yo, we want everybody to win. I don't understand people who don't want everybody to win. We want everybody to win. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, same, for sure. Amber, we anyway. love you. We love thank you, you for being on the big, big show. I let you know this was like our first X-rated. Uh, we I've been doing this ten and a half months. This ain't no X-rated shit, Joe. Stop playing. Yeah, we was talking some shit. You know this? <laughs> That's everyday life to me. I don't know about no X-rated. Uh, yeah, you know, like you know, you know, the first time we try to get it popping, you was like, "Yo, Joe, you ain't going." Last time you could, you ain't gonna ask me no shit, shit. I was like, yo, chill. <laughs> like today we went a little further. Who knows? Nah, for sure. A couple of months from now we might, you know, it might get digital. You know what I'm saying? No, I got. I'll, I listen. I gotta come back though, cause I got some shit I'm working on, and um, I want to come back and talk. Please to you. promote here. You can use the platform. This is your house. I you might actually can host it. We love okay. you, Amber Rose. Love you, too. We love you. Thank you so much. All right. Take care, Joe. Bye, y'all. She -ye -she. God damn. You don't know who I know. $19. That might be a good $19 to spend on that OnlyFans. I ain't going to lie. If you want a PG-13... You want the good guy and the bad guy, you get the DJ Khaled Fat Joe only fans. It starts the 25th. We starting it with the rematch of the basketball game. And then we talking that shit. And you want to go in there because we talking that real shit to get you the bag, that consciousness about that money. Now, if you got $19 and you want to see the <laughs> respectfully and she really is a sweet girl. I don't believe her that uh, she uh, never cheated on a guy. It's my opinion. I don't, I, and I love her respectfully, but uh, I, I, I can't believe that. I can't believe that, man, because, you know, I grew up, you know, I know predators. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know the guys that have walked with your girl in the rain and lie to her and tell her every story she want to hear in her life and, 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 and do whatever in the universe to get that. Or work with a girl and chase her respectfully 24 hours a day to the day she has the argument with her man and that's how it happens. Okay? This week has been an amazing week. Um, thank you for tuning in. The new